a quick recap about uploading to your drive. Again, reasons you might want to. Um, once you have projects uploaded to your drive, um, even if they delete off of your iPad, they will still be there in drive. Uh, another reason is once you're in drive, uh, they can be um, organized into folders, um, so you can easily find them and you can easily share them. And also what I like is, say I upload something from my phone to the drive, I can access it from my iPad, another laptop, any device where you can get the drive app or get to the drive from the internet. Okay, uh, let's talk about making folders. So in your drive, you might want to, let me delete this one as an example, you might want to make a folder for your grade and then make folders within that folder. So if you go to the bottom and hit the plus, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make a folder. And again, you might wanna make it for your grade level. So I'm gonna do an example for fourth grade. Okay, hit create. Okay, so here you have your fourth grade folder and you wanna start uploading things inside that folder. And I like to make folders within this folder. Um, so you can see that you are in your fourth grade folder. You don't have anything in here yet. Um, but if you wanna make folders in here, at the bottom, hit the plus again, hit folder. So maybe this is things from social studies. Uh, maybe you want to make another folder, hit the plus for, you know, photos from this year, hit create. Maybe you want to make another folder for, um, you know, art studio projects or clips that you did, um, whatever things you have that you want to upload, okay? Now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to upload different projects, okay? So say you go to, um, let's go to clips. So you go to clips, let me move this over here. So you go to clips, um, you want to first go ahead and click up here by your projects. Okay, so click up there by your projects. Click on a project. So click on a project. Then at the very bottom, you guys can see down here, you'll see the share a button. Go ahead and click the share a button, the rectangle with an arrow. Um, you can either go ahead and save it to drive from here, or you can save the video. I like to save the video and then I upload them all into the same folder. So I'm going to save this video. And you can do this um, for iMovie as well, or iMotion, um, anything you're going to share a button and save that movie. Um, now, let's say I saved a bunch of videos that way. I can go back into my drive. I'm in my fourth grade folder. Um, I'm going to make a new folder called videos. I'm going to go inside this folder. I'm going to hit the plus because I want to upload those videos I just saved. So hit the plus, upload, photos and videos. And then I'm going to select the one that I just saved. So I'm going to tap that and I'm going to hit upload. You can select um, as many videos or photos at a time that you want. I wouldn't do more than 10. It sometimes um, jams up your iPad and will freeze. So as you can see, I now have this video uploaded. Um, let me go back. Let me show you how to upload some photos. Okay. So here I am, I'm gonna go inside my photos folder. Okay, once I'm inside there, I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus at the bottom. I'm gonna click upload. Then I'm gonna click photos and videos down here. So again, I can select um, as many as I want at a time. I wouldn't do more than 10. Again, sometimes it freezes your iPad. And then I can do upload. So these are all going to upload to my photos. Okay, so again, I have these on my iPad. Once I upload them to my drive, I can access them from my phone as well. I don't just have to have my iPad with me.
okay? Or again, any device where I can get to the drive, I can access these. Um, so that is how you can upload things to your drive. You can organize them. You can also rename them too. So if I click the three dots here, so I click those three dots, I could rename this. I could rename it Charlie. So if you have any really special projects um, or things that you've worked on that you want to make sure that you can find them and you can share them, um, I would rename, rename those ones, but renaming all of your photos would take a while. Um, so good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.